So we're gonna do another antenna test and this one's comparing the K40 quarter wave two footer against the FGT2 by Wilson. It's a Wilson silver load series, which is the heavier gauge windings with uh, silver coated copper. There's more wa wire wound on this because it's a five eighths wave uh, antenna design versus the quarter wave of the K40. So we'll see if there's any differences between these two and come back. So this is the Fire Stick Superflex two foot. We're tuned to the uh, V3TN uh, beacon on the other side of town. I'm using my RCI 2950 this time. This is the K40 Superflex, tuned to the beacon that's across town. Okay, this is the station we're tuned to. And this is the Wilson FGT2 series. If I can get this in focus, because it's hard with the LED display. Hard to discern a difference on the camera, but we'll go back. The last antenna will be my Serial Performer 5000. Serial Performer 5000. Okay, so final conclusion with the uh, lengths the same and nothing but the diameter of the uh, windings and the gauge of the windings. These antennas are pretty close. You have to look pretty close at the display and I don't have a proper high resolution S meter, but uh, I will try and calculate the gains based on what we saw and I think each each uh, block on the RCI 2950 is 2 dB or 3 dB. I'll have to take a look at that. But the Serial Performer 5000 is probably the best antenna if you care about wind load. And if these guys are pretty close together in performance and you need a lighter antenna, the K40 is likely the best choice, but it's not the strongest materials some people have said they break easy i don't know if it's true but it is a little more flexible than the wilson but the wilson is a much a beefier antenna it also gives you an option if you don't have a place to ground your your 3 8 to your 3 8 mount doesn't ground right if it's not magnetically coupled you can use this little strap here this matching ballon is here and you just uh, connect this to a part on your vehicle or boat or whatever your truck that's not fiberglass it has to be metal it has to be a large piece of metal and you you can get a better match and a better counterpoise by using that but if you're not they recommend when you first try to set up the antenna not to try to use it and if you don't end up using it you can snip it off and seal this with electrical tape or heat shrink wrap or something but um, some people just leave it there and they they shrink it up with heat shrink tubing it's you can't have this connected to here I, I didn't mean to show that that can you cannot do that or else you will have some big problems so um, this always has to be tied to ground counterpoise and this is your um, hot lead so that's wrapping this up
I uh, hope you got something out of this. I hope when we review the videos that there's a little bit of a difference between the two. I was hoping to see a difference, big difference with this one because it's better materials. It's more robust, heavier gauge wire. It's also a 5 8 wave design. And they have like guarantees like Wilson says it's the most powerful antenna. So you can put more power through it. And uh, maybe in the TX tests, things will come out differently. But thanks for watching in uh, 73s.